also developing a possible major shakeup when it comes to the sim stimulus bill that was just passed by Congress. We've been telling you it includes $600 checks to most Americans. But this morning, President Trump says that's not enough, and he's calling on lawmakers to take action. New Six's Crystal Moyer has been following the twists and turns with this bill all week, and she joins us live now. So, Crystal, the president wants those payments to be much higher. Yeah, President Trump posted a video to Twitter late last night hinting that he won't sign the bill if Congress doesn't make an amendment, upping that stimulus payment for most Americans to $2,000. It really is a disgrace. That was President Trump's response to the bill passed this week in Congress. The $2.3 trillion measure funds the government for the next several months and also includes $900 billion in coronavirus relief. It had bipartisan support, but the president says much of what's inside is wasteful. Congress found plenty of money for foreign countries, lobbyists, and special interests while sending the bare minimum to the American people who need it. The president hinting that he may not sign the bill, pleading for lawmakers to get back to the chambers with an amendment. Instead of $600, Trump wants the stimulus payments increased to $2,000. Higher payments were brought up during negotiations on both sides. I think it should be 1200 But shut down by Republican Senator Ron Johnson. We do not have an unlimited checking account. If Trump vetoes the bill, government could shut down next week. Congress will have to reconvene if they want to try and override it. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi responded to Trump's video saying they will introduce an amendment to that bill on Thursday to increase those stimulus payments to $2,000, but it's unclear if majority Republicans will agree to it. Live in Orlando, Crystal Moyer getting results, News 6.